Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to predict the NFL playoffs. And I don't see any need to talk beforehand. I'd like to go ahead and get in. So let's go ahead and get in. Starting off with the AFC wild card, we are going to start with the seven seed Pittsburgh at Buffalo, the two seed. So Pittsburgh, last week, getting the win and getting the help they needed to get into the playoffs. And they play Buffalo for the wild card matchup, which Buffalo, they beat the Dolphins narrowly. And as many people did not predict, do not predict, I am going to go with Pittsburgh to get the win here. I'm going to say that Josh Allen is going to help this offense, but he's also going to throw interceptions, which is something I predict the Steelers not to do. And I think Steelers will take advantage of those turnovers and be able to get the win this one somehow, some way. All right, and the next game we have is the Dolphins, six seed at the Chiefs, three seed. So for last week for Miami, losing in a close match to the Bills, both sides having turnovers. And you know, I am going to take Kansas City. Like against some other teams, I don't see they went. Like if they play Buffalo, I'd take Buffalo over them, honestly. But against Miami, this broken down team, I do see Casey getting the win, especially at home. A home field advantage is really big. All right, so for the next game, we have the Cleveland Browns five seed taking on the Texans, which are the four seed. So for Cleveland, last week, they were pretty much locked in. They just rest of their starters, move on this week. And then for the Texans, they beat the Colts in a close game. Close game. It could have easily gone either way. And they got some help by the Titans to clinch the division so they get home field advantage. But despite that, I am going to take Joe Flacco and the Browns to get the win. All right. So moving on to the NFC wild card, we start out with the Packers at Dallas, seven and two seed respectively. And last week for Green Bay, clinching that spot in the playoff season, allowing themselves to play a game versus Dallas, which is known for choking wild card games. But despite that, I am going to take Dallas. And last week, we all know what happened. Dallas destroyed the Commanders. All right, so the next one we have the six seed Rams taking on the three seed Detroit Lions. A revenge game-ish. It's more of a Goff versus Stafford battle with uh, Goff being at home with the Lions. Despite that, though, I am going to take the Rams. Yeah, I know. Shocking. Rams to get the win here. I know Detroit has a really good story, but I just Campbell's aggressiveness taking him down again. I think that's going to happen again this week. All right, so for the next game, we have the five seed Philadelphia Eagles taking on the four seed Buccaneers. So both these teams looking rough last week, despite that Tampa Bay did pull off the window since it was against the Panthers. But Philly, ugh. I know there's some injuries and there's quite a few. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Hurts is fine. I'm not 100% sure. But I am going to actually take the Buccaneers to win this first round game because I think that Philly team is just so banged up and so demoralized. I don't think they'll have a shot. And I think they'll be a first round exit, which not many people saw coming. And so for the next game, we have uh, the divisional NFC. We're going to NFC divisional, the four seed Buccaneers taking on the one seed 49ers. And... I think this is a clear-cut San Francisco win because San Francisco starters should be good to go. I don't see Tampa being a tr problem, and yeah, let's move on. So next game we have the Rams sixth seed taking on the Dallas second seed, and for this game, if I had Detroit instead of Dallas, I was like, I would have chosen Detroit over Dallas, but the Rams over Detroit so I am going to take the Dallas to make it to the NFC championship against the 49ers all right so moving on to the AFC divisional we have 
Pittsburgh seven seed taking on Baltimore the first seed. And so for this game, I it's AFC North, so it could easily go either way. But I am going to take the Ravens to get the win here because I feel like they just have a better roster. And I don't think they're going to be able to get three wins on the Baltimore Ravens this season. And also, Lamar should be rested up. So I think they'll be heading on to the championship. So for the next divisional game, we have Joe Flacco and the Browns, fifth seed, taking on Chiefs, the three seed. And in this game... I'm going to take the Browns. I'm going to take the Browns to come into Arrowhead and beat the Chiefs, which would put the Browns in the AFC Championship. Joe Flacco making miracles happen here in Cleveland. And so that brings us to the AFC Championship where we have the Baltimore Ravens one seed taking on the Cleveland Browns five seed. So... This is AFC North. Again, it could go either way. But for some reason, I am taking the Cleveland Browns to make it to the Super Bowl this year. And they'll take on the winner of Dallas at San Francisco. And for this game, I think San Francisco is going to get the win again. I think it's going to be a repeat of last year. Might not in the same way, but I am going to take San Francisco in a close game, which brings our Super Bowl to none other than the 49ers taking on the Browns. Wow. I was not expecting this to be my Super Bowl. And even more shocking is that I'm going to take the Browns to win the Super Bowl. It's crazy absurd almost some will call me crazy all will call me crazy but i'm going to take joe flacco to lead the browns into the playoffs for a super bowl not only cleveland's first super bowl appearance but cleveland's first super bowl win and that will do it for my playoff predictions tell me if i have good bad picks okay picks Bye.